Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. I want to revisit this problem again and um, do an extension to it, which is now this problem right here. So let's focus on just this diagram right here. All right, what we have is a, a disc, right? This green thing is a plate, right? Picture it a little bit above the ground, the plate. In the center, you have strings. These red things are strings, right? And at the end of them, you have weights that are hanging off this plate. Or you could think about it as there's three people holding these ropes, small person, a you know, bigger person, and a medium side, like a cousin or something, right? They're holding strings, all three of them, and now they're all pulling. They all wanna pull that way. And they're all at different angles. So now the question is, what angle below the zero, right? And how much weight, how much force, who do I have to put here to pull? So that way all the three strings are balanced out. Nobody's moving. Okay, so these people are kind of balancing each other out and this person is being tucked by the middle one, you know, with all of them. And this person is making everybody stay still because of how much weight and how the angle that we put. Okay, so now, Let's do that. All right, so in class, these are strings, right? And then there's a there's a ring here with a pin. And so once you find the angle and the force, you, you put it on there, you take out the pin, and then the ring does not move. If you didn't calculate it right, then it'll move to the right or left or, you know, be unbalanced, okay? So what we wanna do is the sum of forces, okay? So the sum of forces, is how we're gonna solve this problem. All right, let's choose carefully here. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so now let's do, so remember that the sum of forces equals MA, right? That's the that's, uh, second law, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up, we're gonna use something similar right and get us the, th the things that we want in particular so we're not going to use we're going to use this one right f equals ma but we have zero acceleration because we want this thing to be at equilibrium we want this person that when he comes in you know the big kahuna or whatever this guy just like pulls on this thing at a certain angle and nobody moves so this part here is going to be zero that's what we want equilibrium all right, so let's do the forces in the x direction, all right? So on this graph, I'm gonna break everything up. So let's see a good color that, we, that sticks out. All right, so I'm gonna do, okay, so here, I'm gonna break this up here. We're gonna have, um, this bottom one is gonna be um, I'm not gonna write FX and FY, we're just gonna do it on here, right? So I'm gonna do F1 cosine of 30, okay? That represents this here. Then here we got F1 sine of 30. And remember that the F1 is equal to 250, right? This F2 is equal to 550. This F3 is equal to 450, all right? So to save space, I'm not gonna write it yet, but just keep that in mind. Okay, this one here, we're gonna use that reference angle given. So we're gonna use this, right? So we got opposite over hypotenuse. We know the hypotenuse, we got F2 sine of 45. Okay, and this, that's this here. And this going up here, is gonna be, let's write it sideways here. We got F2, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So F2 cosine of theta, actually cosine of 45, sorry about that. Okay, so the previous video shows how to break these up into components. So refer back to that, this is a little bit confusing. And we got this one here, right? We're gonna do, we're gonna break this up into this. And we already have this, so we got this and here. So we got opposite 
right? F3 over, no, opposite over hypotenuse, we got sine of 60. And here we got adjacent. So we got F3 cosine of 60. All right now, it's perfect. We broke all of them up into components and now these don't exist anymore, okay? So we don't have the red, mar the red lines anymore. The red lines have been replaced by two things, a direction in the X, a direction in the Y. This red one, a direction in the Y, a direction in the X, and this red one, a direction in the X, a direction in the Y, okay? So now we're gonna add them all up, but we're gonna sum them, we're gonna sum them all up. Where is the, okay. Now let's see, we got FX, let's count, let's get all of our X directions. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight, let's highlight them. We got this force, which is in the X direction, right? This force right here, which is in the X direction. Sheesh. And we got this force up here, which is in the X direction, right? Those are the three that I'm gonna put right here. Just like that, boom, right? And remember, all of it equals zero. And so let's put, let's see, we got, um, this one right here is in the positive x direction. So this is F1, I'm just gonna write F1 cosine of 30, right? Then we got this x, which is in the negative direction. This is zero, positive is this way, negative is that way. So that's confusing a little bit. We got negative F3 cosine of 60, right? And then here, same thing. We got negative, right, because this is a zero, positive that way, negative this way. We got negative F2 sine of 45. Okay, so all of this is balanced out. So all of this is equal to zero, right? And so we just want to know what the Fx is. What is the force in the x direction? You see how we have cosines and sines, but that's perfectly fine because we could see that these are all horizontal. So let's change these Fs, right, into the, the masses given that are in grams. So F1 is 250. So I got 250 grams times cosine of 30 minus F3, which is this one, is 450, right, times the cosine of 60 and the way this looks here. All right. Here we got minus F2, which is 550. So we got 550 sine of 45. All right, so I did this already. We got that, that, that. Okay. Everything equal to zero. So this is this is the force in the X. We don't need to keep writing equal to zero. Um, we have Fx is equal to negative 397.40. Okay, so these are the sum of all the forces in the X direction, right? Now let's do the sum of all the forces in the Y direction. Let's use a different highlighter. What is it going to be? All right, so let's use pink. And we got everything in the Y direction. So we got this right here, right, which I'm gonna highlight horizontal too. But we know it's this one here, which is in the Y direction. This one here. Okay, and then we also have this one here. Highlight here. Okay, so we got three, we got one, two, three forces in the y direction right so let's do the same thing actually if we do the same thing let's set it up the same way okay so we got three uh, force vectors right everything is equal to zero 
And these are it. So let's do the first one. So the first one is F1. We got F1 sine of 30, right? And that's positive because we got above the zero is positive Y. Down here is negative Y. So it's a little tricky, but this is gonna be positive. We got this one here that's gonna be positive also because it's above the zero. So we got F2 cosine of 45. Right, and then we got the last one, which is below the zero. So all of this is negative y. And so we got negative F3 sine of 60. All right, so we know these F values, let's plug them in. So this for F1 is 250, right? We got sine of 30. F2, which is this one right here, so that's 550. 550 cosine of 40 and F3, right? Which is this one, we got 450. 450 times sine of 60. Uh, yeah, we got the wrong one, whatever. So, okay, so all of these represent the Y. All right, so let's make sure we got negative this, positive that. Okay, so now putting all this in the calculator, we're gonna get FY is 124.197 and the decimal places don't matter you could put I do I usually put two maybe three so just try to go with two or three um, I definitely would ignore them so I just try to use one or two so this is all the the, the sum of the forces in the X and this is all the sum of forces in the Y okay so now we have everything that we need in order to find out how much this person is going to have to bring into the table in order to balance everything out and at what angle okay so let's let's move this uh let's see let's move this here okay so we have that there right and over here let's let's uh let's use what we know for um, for the resultant. Okay, so now to get this magnitude, okay, if you remember, we're gonna use, we can use this notation here with the little brackets. Uh, it's magnitude, so it's the distance from the origin and it gives a direction. And so it's gonna be the square root of fx plus, I mean squared, fx squared plus fy squared. So you guys have probably seen this this formula, you can use it for a velocity. It'll be V in the X, V in the Y, um, some other things, but for now we're gonna use it with force, right? We want how much force do we need to put on here? And this is the magnitude of the force. So we got both of our forces in the X and the Y. We're gonna put them in here, right? So we're gonna get square root of negative 397.40 squared plus 124.197 squared. So all of that squared, square rooted, and we're gonna get, where is it at? Okay, 416, 416, 35 grams. Remember that everything is in grams, and so I'm gonna keep it, the answer in grams. So this is how much the new guy, right? Billy Badass, some huge guy has to come in with, you know, weighing this much. It's not more than that person. It's uh, less than this and it's more than this. So this is exactly how much weight. Now, at what angle does he have to hold onto this string in order to balance everything out? Okay, so now let's do the angle and let's use we're gonna use tangent theta is equal to y over x, right? And so we're gonna need fx and fy, right? So let's just, let's solve for uh, theta. So theta is equal to inverse tangent, right? And instead of writing y, we're gonna write fy. And instead of writing x, we're gonna write fx, okay? So we have both of those values. 
So now let's do theta is equal to inverse tangent of, and we have 124.197 over 139, no, 397, sorry, 0.40. That's negative. Okay, so this is going to give you theta equaling negative 17.35. Now, when you see a negative theta, don't freak out. Okay, so this is a good thing because it makes sense. All right, I'm gonna draw a picture of what that looks like. One second. Okay, so let's move, let's move something over here for now. Let's move this aside for a second. Okay, right there and right here. So now I'm gonna show what we just calculated okay so we have our circle okay and i'm not going to draw the the red forces right what i'm going to draw is now we have this okay we calculated the force needed in order to balance out these three um forces right which we evaluated at equilibrium at zero so they're not moving and so that force is going to be here, force 16. So we need to put somebody that weighs this much, or in the class, we need to put this much weight on the hanging string here, the mass needs to be 416. And at an angle, so it needs to be this, at an angle of negative 17.35. So the negative means we start off here at the zero, right? And usually we go up with the theta all the way around. This time we're just gonna go down. So theta um, this way is positive. Theta this direction is negative. Okay, so we need to go negative 17. And of course we're not gonna write negative. So we're just gonna put neg uh, we're just gonna put 17.35 degrees. I'm not gonna write negative because we don't need to write uh, negative 17 degrees here. I think that would be absolutely wrong. So this length or this space in here is 17 degrees, okay? And the negative just tells us to start from here and going down, okay? So that's it, 17 degrees below the zero. You have to put this behemoth guy who's gonna balance out the three strings or the three people that were here, okay? So this guy now is gonna balance out all three strings. And in class, once we put the weight and the angle, we take out the pin and nothing should move, okay? So that was a, that was a basically easy example. We got some, some, nice, um, some nice angles here. Let's do another example with some other angles and just try to try to do it a little bit faster and try to see what happens as we change the degrees a little bit. All right. Hope that helped. Thank you guys for watching.